Hey, 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 Dr. Rowe here, Sunday night, and I want to leave you a short message, but kind of a personally powerful message as well. Behind me, I grabbed an image which is about thoughts and about the mind. And I guess the key message here I want to share with you is if you are, we're coming to the end of the year, right? And it's 2021 as I'm recording this. We're going into 2022. We're into December right now. And you know, for whatever reason, your life's had ups and downs this year. You've had some tough times. You've had some great times. I suspect a lot of you came out of back end of last year with a feeling like we've got to do something different in 2021. I think 2021 has been stickier for most people than they planned. Maybe hasn't got quite to where they wanted to get to. A lot of restrictions still around us. Maybe not being able to do the things, travel and see the people you wanted to see. And now we're getting to the end of 2021. If it's anything like me, I don't know how you feel about this, but Fuck me, this year has gone quick. Who agrees with that, by the way? Give me a thumbs up if you're watching and you are. And I've just finished a live event with an amazing audience. And I was just reflecting on the fact that I love it when people make decisions. And a good group of these people have actually made a decision to go on and make 2022 a, a new change for them. And I want to bring you back to a fundamental philosophy of success. And that is this. And please make a note if you're, if you're, if you're watching this and you've got pen and paper, is that Every single thought that you have ultimately manifests in a reality of some shape or form. So what you place your focus on, every thought that you create, it by default creates a reaction internally, an emotional reaction in you. And that reaction drives you towards a, a certain direction. So we, I mean, to keep it simple, we get what we focus on. I always carry these around with me, even when I'm doing my events these tuning forks, because the minute I place a thought in my mind, it has a resonant frequency. And the whole universe, we are all made up of this vibrational energy, atoms that just vibrate at a certain frequency. That's why two things can harmonize if they're in alignment with each other, if they're totally tuned into each other. So when you place a thought out into the universe, if that thought is even slightly tainted, if that thought is even slightly blurred or if it's slightly discolored by some negativity or some doubt or anything like that, that literally creates a different frequency. Or watch, if I do this, it gets dulled. So you have to get close and close and close and even closer to the purity of what you want. You can't even say to yourself, what I want is to avoid this. Because now your focus becomes placed on what you want to avoid. So the true success path for you has to be every single thought that you have is focused. Okay, let me reword that. Every single thought you have focused on the thing that you want to attract has to be focused purely on the thing that you want to attract. You have to visualize it in a very clear way. You have to see the tangibility of it, the material aspects of it. How does it look? How does it feel? How does it sound? Place that image so clearly in front of you. And you don't have to always be thinking about it obsessively so that it distracts you from being present with other people. But you carry this quiet belief, this confidence inside you that this thing's going to happen for you. And it's incredible. All success stories manifest from an individual thought, from somebody coming up with an idea, something they wanted, and then it became almost a quiet obsession but they stored it there. And everywhere they went, they thought about it. Every action they took, they thought about it. And I found this with all the journeys that I've gone on over the years. And I've realized actually, and this is what I share with you, that the things that I found that have not gone as well, or well, they've steered off course, is because I allowed my thoughts to be discolored, uh, filtered, dialed down, not as powerful. I've allowed distractional thoughts to come in. But when you are single-mindedly focused on something that you absolutely want, the world starts to readjust around you. People that are in your presence start to fall into place, the ones that should be there. And the ones that shouldn't be there, simply because of this, you see, the thing is, it's like, you know this with magnets, you switch it around, two things can reject each other. When something doesn't harmonize with you, it can't hang around you, it kind of disappears. So if it's a healthy life you want next year, focus intently and intensely on 
how you want to show up, how you want your physiology to be, how you want the food to be in your body, how you want the food to feel when it goes into your stomach and into your blood, into your veins, into your energy, into your mind, and clears your mind down. Now you want a, a clean burn or a fuzzy burn? You want to be in a great relationship? How does that relationship look, feel, sound? How do you want to show up? It's not about how you want them to look and how you want them to be, because you're only ever going to attract to you what you put out. So you have to become the thing that you want to attract. I guess that's a simple way of putting it. If you want more money, specifically how much do you want to earn next year? How does it show up? Is it in cash? Is it passive income? Is it from earnings? Is it from providing a service? Is it creating a widget, a product? Be really, really clear. Because all things align with those things they're in tune with. And each thought that you have, the one thing that you have over anyone else around you is you can control every single thought. Something shitty happens, you can focus on the shitty thing. Or you say, okay, how can I find a solution to overcome this? Something happens to somebody around you, everyone else is going, oh my God, this is terrible. And yes, it may well be. And you go, okay, how can I bring myself to the table in such a way that I'm focusing on a way to help them, to, to nurture them, to support them, to care for them. But all the time you allow doubt, all the time you focus on the thing that you want to avoid, Ironically, you're attracting that very thing into your life. And that's my only message I want to share today because I'm about to start a, a private session with some great people who <laughs> just joining us on an education path. But I thought while I had the chance, I want to get this message out to you. Because when you wake up on January the 1st, 2022, the only person that can define how that year is going to be for you is you. It doesn't matter what happens with COVID. It doesn't matter what happens with a government announcement. It doesn't matter what happens with the economy and your job and all the people around you. It's how you react to those circumstances. And to avoid becoming a victim of circumstances, we have to take full responsibility for everything. That means every thought, every feeling, every emotion. And that doesn't mean to say that there's not going to be stuff that comes up and you go, ah, and you feel angry. And I get that sometimes. You feel frustration. Ah, you feel a bit of tension, but equally you can feel joy. You have to be responsible for the great things and the tough things. I take responsibility for what I earn and what I don't earn. If something happens to me, I go, okay, that happened to me. I take responsibility to how I, for how I react to it. But oh my God, the minute you do that, it's like being in a car for the first time and you've just learned to drive and the driving instructor's not there, your mum, your dad's not there, and you're sat in that fucking seat on your own, and you're like, shit, I'm driving this car. You put it to first, you start driving, you go into second, I can turn right, I can turn left, I can speed up, I can slow down, I've got freedom. That's what taking responsibility is. That's when you take control of your thoughts, it's like taking control of the car for the first time. And it ain't gonna be perfect, I know for a fact it's going to be tough at times next year even for me with my belief about this, but I accept that's who I am as a human being. And when I get pissed off or angry or frustrated, or I found myself going into a place where I'm going, I reverse back out and I say, okay, why am I feeling these thoughts? Maybe there's something else I need to work on. Maybe there's something I personally have got a block on I need to deal with, or I just simply snap out of it, shift my focus and go, that wasn't serving me, go in a different direction. That doesn't mean to say I'm becoming emotionally devoid or avoiding things. It's just in that moment, what serves me best? Does it serve me best to waller in the shit of what's going on around me? Or does it serve me best to look out and take a deep breath and say, what do I need to do to change my circumstances, my thinking, my frame of mind, the people I put around me? What do I need to read? How can I inspire myself? They're the sort of questions I think we constantly have to ask ourselves. And I think anyone that says they're perfect and they've got it all sorted, they'd be lying. I certainly don't feel I have that. Um, but I'm an evolving human being. And so if I can keep living in this space and being open to it, there's always another level to get to. And hopefully you take that message from me, if nothing else today. Right. I must say to you, I have to go. I will see you all on my next post.